it was on my timeline, but it just randomly popped up, and I don't know why. I don't know why. All I know is <clears throat> it was in the middle of the night. I woke up to go pee, and then I looked at my phone, and then I saw the photo, and I, I just burst out laughing. I, 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 I actually went into tears almost. I'm not going to lie. It was funny as hell. Okay? But it says two weeks after you thought she was a creamer. And I'm not going to lie. When you in the midst of the shit, it looks amazing. You're like, yo, I'm really him for real. Unfortunately, sometimes you're not him. So let me take you back. <clears throat> what year was this? This is probably like year two. I'm going to make this picture big too, by the way, just because I like to emphasize, you know what I'm saying, the actual image itself. I don't know why they, you know, advertising Telegram over here. They into some illegal activities. I'm really about to contact the authorities and let them know what's going on underneath their nose and stuff like that. But regardless... This is my situation, right? So I was, what, like 19, 20 years old, and I was working at this restaurant. Girl comes in, and I didn't realize how good she looked until, like, way after the fact, after we started talking and everything like that. But um, we started chatting about her credit card, right? And I kind of halfway told this story at some point before, but never fully got into it because the end is kind of embarrassing. But it's not what you think. I promise you, it's not what you think. So... She was talking to me, and at some point we got to the end of the order, and she pulled out her credit card, right? And I looked at the credit card, and I'm like, yo, that's crazy. How did you get that? Where did you get that? It was either some Disneyland shit. It was just custom. It was custom in a way that wasn't just the default. So for me, I'm looking at the situation like, how do I get one of those? In her mind, she thinking, oh, he probably want to talk to me. But that wasn't what I was trying to say, and it wasn't a Discover card. It was a Chase card. Right. But I didn't know you could change it at the time. I'm just stuck with the default setting on everything. So she going back and forth. Um, she looking at me. I'm looking at her at some point during a whole little situation. Um, we get each other's uh, not IGs. I mean, I think it was IG. I it, know it's Snapchat. It was Snapchat. It was Snapchat. Now, you might be wondering, why was I 20 using Snapchat? Don't you look good today, Redbone? Just chill, just chill, just chill. It was Snapchat. And you might be wondering, okay, why was I 20 using Snapchat? Don't worry about that, though. I just had one because my coworkers had one, and they wanted me to get one so they could send me funny snaps while I wasn't present at the job. So, boom, her and I start talking through Snapchat. Then we get each other's numbers after. This was, like, probably a couple weeks, maybe a day it was like a few days to a couple weeks after she had left the facilities and then we were starting to hit each other up and shit like that boom that one thing lead to another we start to hit it off through socials and through the phone and we meet up downtown we have a little date everything's going good after that i'm like all right let me come through to the crib because it's hot right at that time it was summer i think 2016 or 15 maybe i don't remember which day it was but or which year it was but I'm like, all right, let me come over to the crib. And I didn't ask for a formal invite, but she was telling me what she was doing. It was like, yo, I could really come see you today. She was like, why don't you just come up, pull, pull through? And so I get over there and she got friends and shit over there. So at this point, I'm thinking, oh, this is not going to be good. I'm thinking that this is not going to be good. It's about to be a bad time. Same with Facebook Messenger. What do you mean same with Facebook Messenger? What you mean by that? Snapchat is for drugs. Why are y'all doing that? Why, why is it when I try to be transparent and I try to open up to niggas, now all of a sudden, oh, it's all this other shit. Like, oh, I need to, this is what's used for this. Like, if you use Telegram, you a drug dealer. You are you addicted to Percocets. Like, I'm not. I'm not. Just chill. What do you mean scroll up? Scroll up for what? Why am I scrolling? Here's another way to make money off Telegram. Okay, bro, like, stop looking at that. Snapchat is not for cheaters. Regardless, I get over there. She got friends and shit. Um, they're going on about like, I guess their work shit or whatever. Um, and then after a couple of minutes, I'm like, yo, can I use the bathroom? Cause they start talking about people and I'm not really like in that frame of mind. Like I'm not trying to give into the gossip or nothing like that. And I know if I sit there for too long, they're going to look at me and ask my opinion on something. And I'm going to be like, yo, I don't know what to say. I don't want to be accidentally looked at like one of the bitches. And that's the last thing that you want to do as a grown man is be giving gossip with the girls. You know what I'm saying? Especially after your first time meeting, now you the gay bestie. So anyway... I go in the bathroom. She shows me where it is. Um, I'm in there for like three, four minutes. I come out. She's still there low key. And she's like, don't worry, they about to leave. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I go back in the bathroom. I wait for a couple minutes. I come back out after the fact. I shake everybody hand, say it was nice to meet you. They go and we chilling, right? We chilling. Gossip is an important thing. Not in all cases. I'm just not trying to be, um, I'm trying to be Mr. Bitches. I'm not trying to be one of them to be fair. 
But I sit on the couch and we end up killing time over there. Like I said, it's hot that day. Um, we get cuddled up, but nothing happens. Um, and so I'm like, all right, cool. So this ain't going nowhere. She's just a friend. You know, she looked good and she just she just basically want to tease me, basically. Nothing's going to happen with this girl. Until a couple days later, she hit me back up. <clears throat> and it was like, it was like 12. No, nah, it was like, it was like 10. It was like Dr. 10 p.m. Was using Snapchat to no, I wasn't. To no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, I dance. wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. You can look through my entire Snapchat history right now. What you going to find? Nothing. Because that's the way the app is built, dumbass nigga. You're not going to find shit, bitch. Anyway, so um, I go over there a couple days later at like 10 p.m. I get over there um, at like 11. So I leave at 10. I get over there at 11. Um, she opened the door and she got, you know, a bonded on. And so immediately after I see it, I'm like, all right, cool. Like you trying to chill. I don't know how chill you trying to be. You know what I mean? So I go in and you know what I'm saying? We, we, we just chilling. I sit on the bed, you know, I'm like, why ain't the TV on? Why ain't none of this other shit on? She like, oh, I got to go to work tomorrow. So in my mind, I'm like, why'd you have me come over here then? <laughs> I'm like, why'd you have me come over here then? But I'm like, not going to make a big deal about it. So I'm going to just lay down. It's this perfect set of the moonlight. It's this perfect set of the moonlight creeping in to the bedroom, right? So it's like on some anime shit where it's like you can see everything, but you can't see shit at the same time. You can see everything, but you can't see shit at the same time. Not a movie, not a movie, but it, it's just a lot going on right here. It's a lot going on. I'm not spitting. I'm trying to get something out of my mouth. Um, and so I'm laying down and I'm thinking to myself, damn, I'm really about to just be a cuddle buddy and I'm about to be like permanently friend zone and everything. Like, it's really not going nowhere. I start crying in my head, basically, because I'm like, what's going on? Like, she really don't fuck with me. She invited me over here. Nobody's here. I'm not trying to meet nobody. I'm just laying in the bed. She thinks that this is about to be a cuddle session. Like, this is fucked up. Like, this is really fucked up. And then two seconds later, it's like the Lord opens up the heavens, the skies. I swear to God, the, the, the sun came out in the middle of the night. Everything just lined up, and I felt her leg fall on me. And I was like, yes, thank you, Jesus. What did I do to deserve this premarital sex? It just fell into my lap. Thank God. Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? Shit just gets worse from here. But she landed it on me. And then I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. I got free reign. I can start grabbing shit. You know what I'm saying? I can start moving my hand places without being a creep or a weirdo. Um, one thing leads to another. And boom, right? So I'm behind her. And we going for the, you know what I'm saying, the dog position. I'm not trying to say everything because, like I said, I feel like certain words coming from my mouth are a little too explicit. But I'm behind her. And I'm hitting. And she enjoying it, but I'm not feeling like she enjoying it like crazy, right? I got a rubber on me. I got my rubber on me, you know? So I'm like, all right, cool. But it's not hitting like that, you know? It's great, but it's not like, it's not like amazing, it's so like a second or two go by of me like, you know what I'm saying, hitting the same spot. And I feel her hand like up against my stomach and she like pushing me back. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, what, what, what's going on? Like, what, what's about to happen? Like, what, what's this? You know what I'm saying? It's so funny because I feel like I can't even, I can't say that. I can't say that. I can't say that. But like, I'm like, what's this? Like, what's this? And so she pushed me out. And then she did something that I'm just like, you ever, you ever have somebody do something while you like, like you got full autonomy and everything over your body, but you just letting your hands go free. Cause you like, what's about to happen? What you doing? What's next? What's the next Dr. move? Rumor has it, Sean was giving it up crazy. Stop interrupting me. His day. He was bagging them white women on Uvu. I don't know why you have such a problem with white women. If it was a white girl, what the fuck are you going to do about it? I'm so sick of niggas, bro. Not only do niggas in this chat get no ass, no, 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 like no buns, no yams, no nothing. You want to sit up here and police what niggas do get and you get nothing. What are you talking about? First of all, she wasn't white. If she was, I would have told you that, but she wasn't like, what? I'm just, I'm just wondering what this narrative is. Why do you do shit like this? I don't get it. Nigga said unfollow. Bye. Bye. I didn't ask for your opinion. I didn't, I don't care. I don't care, but that's not what this was either way. I'm good. I got pushed out while she's underneath. She she got her hand like this and she reaches from underneath between her own legs and she grabs my shit. The tip only, though. And she pulls off my rub. She pulled off my condom. 
And then I was just after that, I like I like I fell into it. I know that sounds like an excuse that a cheater would give, but I'm not cheating on nobody because I wasn't in a relationship. But I swear, I swear, after that I fell in. I don't know what happened, but it was like a voice was telling me you gotta do it. And so I was like, yo, I don't wanna uh that's what I was like, I don't it was what it was. And after that, I saw it. After that, I saw it. After that, I saw it. I saw it. I did. I saw it. I was like, yo, she creaming. Oh, my God. It's over with. There's no way I'm coming out of this. Sean C. What? A.K.A. Milk Mandela. No, I'm not. Just stop saying that, bro. If I was, like I said, there's no issue. Why are you seeing a Snow Bunny Boy 420? Regardless, um, it was a great night. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I completed my mission and everything like that. It wasn't a mission. I didn't go over there for that, but like I just knew it was. I knew it was a possibility. Um, two a.m. or like one one a.m. one thirty kind of roll around. We laying down and everything like that, not fully sleep. And she basically saying, "Yeah, I like you know what I'm saying. I gotta make sure I gotta get up tomorrow and shit like that." And I'm like, "Yo, don't worry about it, bro. Like I, I got you. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the fuck out." But it was so good. I'm sorry. It's bad. It's bad. K on fire tonight by Cameron featuring Freaky Zeke. <laughs> Bro, I had a necklace on. You ever planted so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But this wasn't the plan. I didn't I didn't I didn't go over there with the intention of doing this, but I planted evidence. I planted something in the crib purposefully so I could come back. But it wasn't that wasn't my thought process at the time. I just saw my necklace on her dresser. And I just thought to myself, just leave it because you're going to come back, right? No, 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 I wasn't. That's not what it was. That's not what it was. I just I knew that she was. I just knew I knew we had the type of relationship where, you know, like I was going to come back. That's all I'm saying. I didn't do no, no. I wasn't doing it for other niggas. I just knew I was gonna come back. Dot rumor has all it right. Sean was smashing to Lil Dicky Brain album. All right, I'm about to mute. I'm muting. 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 So I'm thinking to myself, all right, you know, a couple days from now, she probably gonna call back and shit like that. Um, and what happens? Uh, a couple afternoons later, I'm coming back home from a jog like a long jog, like maybe 15 miles, right? I did a long time, like over 20,000 steps type shit. And so I get back in the crib and I take a shower. Remember, remember this part, I was jogging. I get back home, I'm in the shower, I get out the shower, I got a towel on me. She calls me like almost immediately after, nigga, fit, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so glad niggas think I'm cat. I'm so glad niggas think I'm cat. I really do this running shit. This cardio shit is really is in my it's in my veins. What does this say, chat? Just for niggas that, that that think that think this shit is a fucking game. Hold on. Hold on, bitch. Just hold on. Let's go to the daily. Let's go to the daily. Hold on. No, let's go to the week. Chat, what this say right here? This got more steps than this day. This say what what that say right there? This is that, that that's 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 Monday earlier this week. That's Monday. Regular shit. Just regular shit. Just regular shit. Just regular shit, bro. Like, I, I, I run 10, 20 miles multiple times throughout the month. Re regularly. Let's stop. I really do this cardio shit. Stop. Suck a dick. I don't care. I've been doing this my whole life. But regardless, um, I go back and I get out the shower, right? And I got my towel on me. And she calls. And so I drop everything, right? I dropped everything. I didn't say it was Monday today. I just said, like, okay, just stop. So I answer my phone. I'm like, hey, what's up? How you doing? She's like, hey, yo, like, how you been? And I'm like, yeah, I've been good. Like, how you been? Like, you've been working recently, blah, blah, blah. One thing leads to another. And I put my foot on my bed. I put my foot on my bed. And then while I'm talking to her still, I just sit on my bed. And now I'm on my bed, butt ass. I'm never on my bed but ass. Not because I'm not clean, but it's just not a good look. You know what I'm saying? Just being butt ass on your bed. It's a freshly made bed. And putting your bare ass on your bed is just crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. 
Um, but she like, so you gonna come get your your chain? You know, you gonna come get your necklace and shit like that? And I'm like, oh, that's crazy. Like I was looking for that. That's crazy. Like how did you? How did you know? She's like, yeah, you just happened to leave it here, which is really weird. It's like she's seen through me, but she wasn't trying to say I see through you. And so I get over there that same day. I like I put everything I put everything on. I put everything together. I go over there that same day. It's late afternoon by this point. And I'm like, go in her room. I'm like, where's my chain? I'm like, where's my chain? I turn around and this freak ass bitch is wearing my chain. And I'm like, oh, my. God, she's so fucking sexy. <laughs> she want me to take it off her. She want me to get it off. She wants me to take it off. So I start chasing her around the house. And I realize how crazy this looked. Because I'm the same nigga that planted it in her house. And now I'm chasing her around the crib trying to get my chain back. If this look, It looked crazy to people that don't know the full story. To the full story is all I'm saying. But basically, you know what I'm saying? We ended up getting back to the room. She jumps in the bed. I dive, like literal nose dive into the bed, just trying to get my thing back off of her. And you know what leads to the next? Like one thing leads to the next. Boom, we end up doing the same thing again. This time I went in purposefully with no rubber. So now I have nobody to blame but myself. So I get home after we have our little escapade, little fun time. And I hop in the bed. I'm laying down and for some reason I wake up and the side of my leg is like wet. Like, what's up? What's this feeling? What's this feeling, bro? Side of my leg is just wet. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And it wasn't like a, a, a feeling where it was like, oh, yeah, like you sweating or nothing like that. Because it was literally only on one side of my thigh. I'm like, all right. Um, I'm a scratch for a second. And then after I scratched, it was like mad itchy. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why is it so itchy? And why is it like, it didn't feel like just regular sweat or nothing. It, was just, it felt like discharge for a second. And I'm like, um, that's weird. So I took my phone and I put the flashlight on. Took my phone and I put the flashlight on. And then I, 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 I aimed it at my inner thigh and I saw on one side it was super moist, but I wasn't sweating, but it was mad wet. And I'm like, oh, no, this, what, what is that? But I didn't really pay it too much mind. I went in the shower and I just, you know what I'm saying, washed everything off. I went, to, I went back to bed and it was still moist. I'm like, that's weird. Huh? Wake up the next day. Everything seemed cool, but. I'm still itchy. Like, bro, what the fuck? Why am I itchy? Like, why am I... Why, why, why are my nuts itching? Like, the whole next couple days, my nuts were just, like, inflamed. And it, it, it wasn't just on one side. It was on the whole sack. Like, all of it. The whole sack itself was literally itchy. And I'm like, what the fuck is this feeling? I don't know what's happening. So, first thing I decided to do was Google. Google's my friend. You know, Google is my friend. So, like, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I have to do. Like, that's just what it is. Google is my main mans. So, I started looking shit up. First thing niggas told me is I got AIDS. I'm like, oh, fuck, it's over. It's over. Niggas got AIDS. That's the, that's the situation we in. Still, at this point, I hadn't put two and two together thinking to myself, yo, it could have been her that gave you X, Y, Z. But... I, I calmed down and I got more information and I started looking at, okay, maybe you just got a rash. Maybe you allergic to, allergic to an ingredient or something. Maybe the detergent in your sheets is finally hitting you different. Maybe uh you you maybe it was the jeans you wore that one day when you was like 17, 18, 16, whatever the fuck age I was when I was raw dog in the jeans. Maybe everything's catching up to you in one fell swoop. It just can't be her. It can't be her. That's what I was thinking. So I didn't want to ask her no questions because I didn't want her to really be like, yo, is he thinking that I'm just like some whore or something like like I just you know what I'm saying? Even though that is crazy to take off a nigga condom and just put him back in you while you but it's whatever. I wasn't looking at her at the time. So a couple more days go by and I'm telling you, bro, the itchiness was getting worse. And I'm not going to lie to y'all, bro. I started looking at my sack and my shit looked like a hundred and fifteen year old man's. 
gonna be honest with you, my shit literally looked like it had been through three world world three world wars. I'm gonna be honest. I can't I can't cap. I can't cap. My shit at the moment looked indescribable. Indescribable. And so like I said, I was working at the time and I decided after all my research and everything that I had found out, they said that there was an ingredient. <laughs> they said that there was an ingredient in certain substances that could alleviate itchiness. And so I went to Target and I spent $249 and 65 cents i remember the exact number on listerine okay but listen right listen though listen so i bought all the listerine right like humanly possible i did i don't care i don't care that's what i didn't get scammed i went home <clears throat> to my bathroom and i took the cap off i poured one i poured the second ball i poured the second bottle i poured the third bottle i poured the fourth bottle i poured the fifth bottle i poured the sixth bottle i feel i i filled up my my bathtub with listerine almost like maybe a little under half a foot like maybe a couple inches worth And I was recommended that you rub the Listerine on your balls, right? <laughs> and so I did what any normal person would do in this situation. And I sat down balls first into the bathtub. Now, <laughs> at the time, I didn't realize how close my asshole was to my nuts. I didn't realize my scrotum was down there. I didn't realize my my meat was going to be like, you know what I'm saying, dipped off. I didn't know how much essential tools I had outside of my nuts until they touched Listerine. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. And as soon as I sat down, I'm like, all right, this is the same as when you got it in your mouth. You just got to get through the burning. And I sat down and they start burning. And it, it got worse. And I was like, all right, just endure. Just endure. You're going to get through this. And then it got worse. And I'm like, oh, oh shit. I'm like, oh, shit. It hurts now. And it got worse. It got worse. And it shit, shit, shit start stinging. And then shit start burning like more. And then I just felt like my shit was on fire. I looked down. My shit was literally like the, 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 the color of a cherry popsicle. I'm like, what the fuck is this? This wasn't supposed to feel like this. Now I just got to sit in Listerine, balls first, and my shit is burning. I cannot get out of this. And so I'm like, yo, nah, this is too much. I can't take this. This is like, this this pain is like on some shit. I, I, I would not wish this on my worst enemy. So I get up, but it's still residual Listerine juice on the nuts and everything. Now my asshole is burning. My nuts are burning. My, my my inner my lower thighs like the the back skin on my legs are burning and it's still burning so i try to wipe shit off and it's going away like the itchiness right the itchiness and everything goes away after that so like i got through the burning and it was bad it was one of the worst pains i ever experienced in my life but i got through it and so i go to sleep after i get through that you know obviously i took a shower after the listerine ball session and I, I hop into bed. Then I wake up. My shit's itching again. My shit start itching again. Was I screaming? Oh, yeah. At the top of my lungs. My uh, Hold on. I'm, I'm about to show you what. Hold on. Hold on. This was my first reaction. As soon as I sat down. 
As soon as I sat down. As soon as I sat down. As soon as I sat down, that was my first reaction. As soon as I sat down. And throughout the entire process, that was my first reaction. I couldn't sit through that level of pain. I really couldn't. I really couldn't. But I went to sleep and I woke up. Went to sleep and I woke up in the middle of the night and my shit was itching again. This time I was missing a layer of skin. Now, now I started to take shit serious. <clears throat> now I started to take shit serious. Cause I didn't know what I just burned off me. I didn't, I didn't know. I literally had no clue. I, I, I'm like, maybe I need to, maybe I need a professional. Maybe I need a, like a, like an actual doctor. I don't know. I don't know. I lost a whole layer of nut skin. It was literally just laying on my side and I'm looking at it. I'm like, yo, I know this is skin. I know this is skin. Now my shit look crazy. I rubbed my finger on my shit. I rubbed my finger on my shit and, and Tom and Jerry scream. My shit was so sensitive. It wasn't even funny. It wasn't even funny. I could barely walk in my, my leg, not my, my leg, my leg hair rubbing up against the side of my shit literally sent me into convulsions. My shit was cooked. Say goodbye to sex, masturbation, uh, scenes, erections, anything like my, my shit is cooked. I'm done. I literally, yeah, I chemical pilled myself. I did easily, easily chemical pilled myself. Um, so after that, I was like, you know what? Regardless of how much it's probably going to cost, I'm going to have to go see a doctor because this is sh this shit crazy as fuck. I went to the doctor for like on some checkup shit and I'm like, yo, I really want to get a woman. But at the end of the day, I actually don't because like. You know how crazy you're going to look? I would actually now rather prefer a man. But then it's going to be crazy because, like, he's going to be playing with my balls for a minute. I just don't want to do this, man. It is what it is. So I just, I'm going to just have to get this out the way. I tell Doc, hey, this was going on. My balls have been through the ringer. Um, I put them through a chemical pill by accident. Let me know what my options are. How long do I got left to live? He tells me he doesn't fucking know what this is. And I'm like, oh, shit, it's over. I'm like, oh, no, it's over. I'm cooked now. At this point, at this point, I'm fucked. At this point, it's over. He don't know. That's the worst thing in the world for a doctor to tell you initially when you go in with a problem and you swallow your pride and everything is for the nigga to tell you after you didn't gone through the anxiety and the anxiousness of even walking into the doors and this nigga tell you, I don't know. He said, I'm going to look into it a little bit more and I'm going to call you back in. But in, in the meantime, I'm going to give you this moisturizer. I'm going to give you this moisturizer, rub the area. I don't know what it is, but I suspect it may be this. In the event that it's not this and your symptoms get worse, come back and let me know. So I rubbed that shit on. I rubbed that shit on. And the itchiness went away slightly. But then I went to sleep. I woke up. And I'm missing another layer of skin. And so at this point, I'm like, all bets is off. I'm, I'm tired of dealing with bitches, bro. I'm tired of it. At this point, at this point, I peeled again. It wasn't as deep. It wasn't like as, as, as pronounced as the first layer, but I lost another layer. And at this point, I'm like, yeah, no, this is fucked up. I'm, I'm dying. I'm literally, I'm dying, literally. All this because somebody wanted to take a, con a condom off without my consent. I was about to hit the bitch back with a message like, you basically, you essayed me. I didn't know how to describe it at the time. Like, I was literally about to get mad as fuck. I was about, I was literally mad as fuck. But I literally text her like probably the worst message ever. And I'm like, you nasty, dirty, slutty skank hoe. How the fuck did you not tell me you was burning out this bitch? I'm over here thinking you creaming. Now I'm on, I'm solidified on the team that squirters are better than creamers after the shit you just pulled. Why would you ever do some shit like that to me and not tell me what you had going on? You have a, you have a toxic pussy. Your shit is contaminated and you're not telling niggas. Why are you doing this? I, I hit her with the, I hit her with the worst shit humanly imaginable, bro. I did. I hear it with the worst hit humanly imaginable. And I and I sent the message and then I waited for like five minutes because I did regret it. I'm like, yo, her shit is actually immaculate. I don't know why I said her shit contaminated because that shit felt good as fuck. Even if it is contaminated, I'm worth it. Like, it's worth it. It is what it is. However, she hit me with a message back and she said, what are you talking about? And so I thought that I was being gaslit because I thought that she knew that she might have had something, you know? But then after she said that, like, I felt like, nah, she wouldn't do that, right? Like, that's not her, right? Like, is it? But is it not? 
And then I softened my tone a little bit. I did. I softened my tone. And I was like, so you ain't got nothing going on. You just know that. And she like, yeah, like, what do you mean? Like, how are you? Why are you talking to me like this? Through text. And I start rethinking my life. I do. I start rethinking everything. I'm like, nah, she wouldn't do that. But would she? I don't know her well enough to say what she would or wouldn't do. And I'm like, yo, this is crazy. This, that, and the third. And while I'm thinking about my potential response, she hit me with another message. And she said, you know what? And I was just like, damn, what if it wasn't her? Like, she said, you know what? And then she hit me with like, a lengthy message that basically summarized could be thought of as we don't need to see each other no more and i'm like oh no no wait 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 i'm like wait okay but wait let me just try to explain my rationale like let me just try to see where like where shit is like where like let me can can we explain like where i'm coming from because i didn't even know like the situation at the time and so i'm typing the whole thing out and i'm like wait maybe it would be better if you caught her but at this point it's like 2 and 2 30 in the morning and it's like she got to go to work at like eight o'clock and i shouldn't like should i call her or should i just let this slide or whatever and i'm like no what no 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 don't believe her until you get confirmation that this isn't what you think it might be And so my doctor, he called me the next day. He called me the next day on some cool shit saying, you know what? I didn't know what it was yesterday, but I think I might know what it is. And I said, what? My boy said, I think you got jock itch. Y'all remember when I said that I had ran 10 miles and everything, right? And when I put my feet on my bed, when I put my feet on my bed and my shit was raw and then I sat butt ass on my bed, I put my nuts where my feet were and I didn't realize, like I didn't notice. That's literally the only way it could have happened. That's literally the only way it could have happened. But I put my feet where I put my bare ass and my nuts had to have touched the end of my bed in the process. And so I'm like, oh no, I just lost my bitch. No. I'm like, bro, are you sure? I'm trying to t I'm trying to talk him out of it. Like, nah, bro, that can't be it. Like, I'm lying initially, like, bro, I never how would I even get that? Only dirty niggas get that. He's like, no. Actually, athletes get this a lot. And it's a, a lot of the time it's from contamination, um, from moving certain areas of your body, using the same towel on certain parts of your body. Unfortunately, it could come in contact. You could very easily give yourself bacteria from one part of your body to another if you don't pay attention to where you put it. And I'm like, nah, bro, don't no, do don't do this, man. Man, don't do this dude don't do this man don't do this not my bitch not my bitch like please we've been together for so long we've been together for so long so i get confirmation he tells me, yo, don't worry about it. Just keep the area clean and keep the area separate. Um, I'm gonna give you more, I'm gonna give you some different cream. And over the next few weeks, the symptoms should go away. Um, don't worry about it. So I come back crawling. I do, I come back crawling. I texted her, no response. I called her no response and i don't know why i thought it was gonna go better if i just pulled up to the crib because we weren't close enough like we had fucked a couple times don't get me wrong you know and we we was good we was locked in but she was grown you know what i'm saying like i'm only 19 20 years old this girl was 24 you know what i'm saying like really really dealing with no nonsense so i did i, did, I pulled up but not on some crazy shit. i just wanted to make sure she was okay low-key I did. I wanted to just make sure she was okay, low key, because I fucked up. I did. I did bad. And from before, from last time, I'm thinking that now she still got my necklace. I never went and actually got my necklace back. We was playing around with it, but I never got it back. 
So I pulled up and I knocked on the door. And she looked through her little hole and everything like that. And she said, what? And I said, I'm sorry. I didn't know what it was. I didn't mean for it to go the way it went. Like, can we start over? Can we start over? She opened up the envelope flap. In the most dramatic, like, we'll never talk to each other again type shit. Open up the envelope flap and put my necklace through it. And I was just like, oh my God. She's not pregnant, nigga. Oh, and that was the end. And I went back home depressed, feeling fucked up, feeling like I did the worst thing. And that's easily like one of my worst fumbles all the time you know what i mean y'all saying w her and i understand where you coming from but realistically speaking like not really because that's fucked up she literally gave me like that's like on some like like we was in like a, a old bet movie bro with the way she put the necklace in the envelope and the way it flew, like flew out like i did i lost the bag i lost the bag all because i sat butt ass on my bed after a 10 mile jog. I still think about her. Now I know she in her 30s now. And she probably not in the same condition as when I found her initially. But I still think about her. How bad was she? I'll put it to you like. She could have cheated on me and I would have been trying to rationalize it. That's a shame. Yeah, it's a shame. This put me in a real bad like mental state right now. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not really thinking about this the way I thought I would when I when I gave when I started telling the story. It's all good, Sean. Sometimes we make mistakes to learn in life. Heads up. Nah, I'm good. That's it. Low key depressing. Down bad. Been there. You've you you've mistakenly accused the girl of giving you a STD and then realized it was you the whole time. You been there? No, you haven't. But ever since then, chat, I learned to wear socks. My bad. Sean, don't be a Chris Brown in this way. Not the way you thinking, but I mean when he lost Carway Che, he's still recovering. Yeah, but I don't know what Chris Brown, I mean, I do know what Chris Brown did. That's different. More of the story, wear socks, yeah. Yeah. I felt bad, man. I did. Mow the story, keep the condoms on, and get your test periodically. No, because she was clean whole time. Well, look on the bright Take side. Take the condom off. You still got your dick. Right? That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. You know? Why didn't you get tested? Bro, come on, bro. I was just on some nigga shit at the moment, and I just knew I didn't have that, bro. I did. I just knew it. I knew it wasn't that. It couldn't have been. I just knew it couldn't have been that. Like, I accused her, but I didn't, like... Just, like, just, just no, bro. I don't know what thought process made you think Listerine was a good idea. I didn't just come up with Listerine on my own. I didn't. I didn't just come up with Listerine on my own. Why was she with a 19-year-old? brother this is detroit dot let's get to it what was the back shot hair hitting for i wasn't really paying attention to be honest i could tell she just got out the shower like she could fake it like she was Lust already like half sleep but pride gonna be the death of you and you and me all right
I would be thinking that no, she thinks I have something I gave her. I would be thinking, wait, what? Nah, Sean, I lost a girl due to a past one. Wait, what? Nah, Sean, I lost a girl due to a past one in her family and two years later I still think of her. I felt like I had the world by its balls when I was with her but life happens and we learn from our experiences to be better humans or self-reflect. Oh God, yeah. And another reason, I didn't I didn't suspect her unjustifiably. Lokito, what were you supposed to think as your genitalia was being peeled like an onion? Oh God, don't say that because that's crazy. Why would you make that comparison? I'd quote demon possessed you to teabag Listerine, but damn, this was a good story. No, I didn't teabag the Listerine. I read on the internet that Listerine, there's like some ingredient that goes against whatever potential rash you might have. And I thought, okay, boom, two and two together, $300 on Listerine, sit in the bathtub with the Listerine, and you know, whatever happens, happens. However, another reason why I suspected her was because she didn't hit me back with any, um, she didn't hit me back with any um, symptoms of her own. So I'm thinking that like, oh, you not going through shit. So you must already have whatever X, Y, Z. Cause I'm like, all right, boom, you should have what I got going on. If like, I like, you know, but then I didn't, I just didn't put, like, I was just, I was just there. I was, I was just trying to come up with shit. I'm, I don't know. I just, I thought, I thought she was. I don't know, bro. I just thought I thought she was I thought she was what it was. Dang, my baby mama trapped me, so it is what it is. Ain't that right, Sean? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh god, bro! Like niggas is just saying shit now, bro. I'm sorry. His picture's still funny as fuck. Listerine on your frank and beans and hole is crazy. I shouldn't have told the story. I was saying I would have been thinking now she thinks you probably gave her something. I shouldn't have told the story. Quick and funny story. When quarantine first started me and my girlfriend were on lockdown at our parents' houses. I came over one night on the creep and handled business. Turns out she had the Rona and didn't realize it. That was the first time I ever caught. Damn. That's a far way to get it, though. Actually, it's not weird cause my doc told me to soak my feet in Listerine for athlete's foot and it worked. See? Listerine is awful for your mouth, y'all. Don't use it. It was remarketed from being a floor cleaner. See? You mean I put a floor cleaner on my balls? Listerine C. All right, man. What are you talking about? Nigga said that I saved the sheddings. Dot when Eminem said I just took an AIDS test and the doctor said to think positive, felt it. But you didn't share none? I could have had the best time of my life with four inches. Yeah, I would feel awkward and scared of myself. 300 pounds can't see my meat. I shouldn't have told the story. Let's say you about to do the deed. Raw. When do you ask the girl about whether she clean or not? Do you ask her to prove it? No, you don't ask. Did you save the sheddings? I just... Sean uh... was 1800s Red Dead redemptioning it up in the streets be safe, Kuzo. Sean was 1800s Red Dead redemptioning it up in the streets. What the fuck does that mean? Why was going to the doctor your last resort? Uh, insurance! I was about to say something so crazy to you, bro, but I just, just, all right, I'm going to just chill. You just blew me. You just blew me, bro. You did. You just blew me. Regardless, um, chat, how, how y'all doing? Let's just move. Let's let's overlook. We could just get the snake flaming off the shit, right? I could just remove. Huh? What happened? To be honest? Oh, shit. Ha, another nigga telling me I did this the wrong. Yeah, no shit. No shit, Nick. To be honest, you approached the situation the wrong way. First and foremost, I hope the queen is doing okay. Bro, stop virtue signaling. 
She pulled my condom off without me saying it was okay. And you sitting up here calling her a queen. You sound stupid. She's not fucking you, bro. She's not fucking you. She lured me into a false sense of security. And she was three years old, four years older than me. What are we talking about? For anyone in chat, most major cities have free health clinics to get tested. Well, bitch, I didn't know about that. And I doubt that that was true at the time for me. The police have started investigating Chris and B Studios. What? No, they haven't. You're lying. You're lying. Show me the evidence. Where the car facts at? Tch, niggas just cap. That's wild. Huh? Wait, what? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. They lied. Huh? See? Tch, niggas just be lying. You're not a victim. I mean, technically speaking, I am. But, um, you know, I just, she didn't put me in. She just took it off. I continue, you know, but I fail. I'm being dead ass. I fail. At that point, I fail. I fail forward. And it just was no turning back. 